opening statement, we'd appreciate it. And then uh, we'll get rolling. Yeah, super excited for NC State and uh, the Wolfpack uh, Nation to come down to Orlando uh, as an assistant coach at Wisconsin. I was a part of this game and as an assistant coach at Kansas. And it was a phenomenal experience for our athletes, uh, our staff, our children. And so we're very thankful for the invite, excited to play against a great school, great institution like Kansas State. I have tremendous respect for them, their coach, um, Coach Kleinman and, and their president, who actually came from NC State, Rich Linton. Uh, great program. And, and so I know our team, staff, and fan base cannot wait to come down to Orlando and be a part of the experience. With that, we'll, we'll open the floor for questions. Our first question comes from Jaden Watson Fisher. Jaden, you can go ahead when you're ready. Dave, what was your like? What was that waiting period like for y'all? Yeah, um, I was in a home visit during most of it, so I was trying to recruit. <laughs> but um, it was a weird day in college football, to say the least. And so thankful we ended up where we did. I think it's uh, a great place. Uh, thankful to the bowl selection committee for us and Michael Strickland, Jim Phillips, and and all the people involved. I think this was the right location for us to go since we've been in some of the other bowls. I think this is for our fans to be able to travel to Orlando and an awesome destination for us. And, you know, this is what we were hoping for. Hey, Coach, we'll take, a, take one from Kellis Robinette of the Wichita Eagle. Uh, Kellis, you can go ahead when you're ready. Yeah, um, Coach, being a Kansas City guy, working at Kansas previously in your tenure, um, just kind of what what are some memories you have of the Wildcats over the years? You know, I grew up in Kansas City um, before Coach Snyder was there, and it wasn't much of a program. And um, when I came back from my freshman year of college, Coach Snyder had taken over and turned that program around, and and that was the beginning of what became an incredible turnaround in college football um have so much respect for kansas state for what coach snyder did uh twice and now coach kleinman and you know had a great rivalry there between us when i was at kansas with coach mangino who also came from kansas state from that tree and uh working under brett bielema who was a part of that tree as well so you know i I have nothing but great admiration and respect for the Kansas State football program and university and growing up there. I know a lot of people that uh, are alumni to, the, to Kansas State. So looking forward to playing them, and I know they'll have a great turnout from their fans as well. All right, we'll take our next one from Ethan Dowell. Ethan, uh, you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey, Coach. In the past, you've talked about how um... – you know, December used to be a really, really fun month for um college football. You do your recruiting, you bowl prep and all of that. And now it's kind of changed a little bit. Is Selection Sunday still one of those days where um you know that joy is still there? It can be. You know, I think it depends on where you end up. And for us, this is definitely a joyous uh Sunday. You know, we had a recruiting weekend, had some great young men and their families here. And uh, like I said, I went to a home visit and drove back to my house here uh to be around my family and, and now find out we get to go to Orlando, Florida and be a part of a great bowl experience. So it's been a great day, great weekend. Good enough. You have a question for coach. Uh, use the raise hand tool. Uh, we've got one from Rob McLam. Rob, go ahead when you're ready. Yeah, Dave, you mentioned you had an experience with the, uh, the bowl game in Kansas. Was that against NC state? It was. Yeah, you remember that, sir? Philip Rivers' last college game was not good. <laughs> he played really well, but that was a great bowl experience, to say the least. And uh, Champs Bowl, as it was then, which then turned into the Camping World Bowl. We played in the Capital One Bowl against Arkansas my first year at Wisconsin uh, when they had McFadden and Felix Jones in the backfield. We won that game. Um, and then we played Miami in, in the Champs Bowl and beat them uh, and played really well that night. And so uh, all three times I've been there, it's been a phenomenal experience for the families, for the players, and uh, looking forward to another opportunity to play there. 
for the good of the order, Champs Bowl, Cantrick World Bowl, Pop Tarts Bowl, all, all the same family, uh, all the same lineage. And uh, you know, this is the, the latest iteration of it. We're in the first year of the Pop Tarts Bowl, and we look forward to having you. Our next question will come from Luke Notestein. Uh, Luke, you can go whenever you're ready. Coach, just the, the way that you guys were able to finish the season on such a strong note, what does it say about the character of this team that, that you guys were able to play so well and, and to earn this big, uh, big opportunity here? Well, it says a lot you know, about the perseverance and grit of this football team, the staff. We came together in a tough time, uh, went through, you know, some difficult things in the middle of the season, and it really, you know, galvanized our team and brought us closer together. Um, we were able to rattle off five in a row to finish the season, which has only been done, I think, one time in 100 years at NC State. So very proud of the legacy this team has created for itself, and, Look forward to an opportunity to uh, compete for a 10th win, which, again, is a, is a monumental thing here at NC State. So we're excited for this opportunity and to get to do it at such a great bowl game against a great competitor. It's going to be an awesome opportunity. Hey, Coach, we'll take our next one from Noah Fleischman. Noah, you can go whenever you're ready. Hey, Coach, kind of sticking with the, the theme of the bowl, do you have a favorite Pop-Tarts flavor? I'm going to go with the uh, brown sugar. Pretty strong. Made no coach. We'll let you know. We'll get some to you ASAP. <laughs> My wife likes strawberry, just so you know. Duly noted. <laughs> Do we have any more uh, questions for coach from the room? Uh, I see another one from Rob, Rob McClam. Rob, you can go ahead when you're ready. Yes, sir, Dave. Uh, you know, what are, what are the type of things that I don't know what you – experiences you said it's a great player experience what were type of things you your kids got to do when they went to Orlando those bowl games what are some of the things you think yeah. uh, they'll get to do well there's multiple theme parks as you know um and so you know whether you're talking about Sea World or Disney World um Universal I can't remember is it Treasure Island the, the other one but just it seemed like there was something every day the guys could go do and coaches you know a lot of our our Coaches have children and their wives and kids can go be a part of that. Um, so just a multitude of things, you know, the roller coaster rides. I know the players were big on that. I, I didn't partake in that. But uh, the golf course at the hotel, you know, the restaurants, you name it. There's just a ton to do, you know. And each time I went there, it was sometimes when you go to a bowl, it's the same as every time. And each time we went there, it was a little different, which I really liked. Got time for a couple more from Coach. If you have a question, you can use the raise hand tool. And I see one, another one from Luke. Luke, you can go ahead when you're ready. Coach, you know, this time of year, I mean, it really is a, a time for, for players to enjoy themselves, you know, uh, spend time with family and stuff, but to be able to do, to be together with your team again in such a fun venue, how much of a celebration can this be for the program for the, for the season that you've had? I told the guys that after um, our last win, I said, we're going to go to a bowl game. I'm not sure where it's going to be. And we're going to have more fun um, than any other team in the country. We're going to enjoy each other's company one more time and really revel in the brotherhood and the family that we've created. And I enjoy that, you know, enjoy the process of getting ready to win a game and what it means to be somewhere together. A lot of teams don't get to go to a, a place like we're going to go to and, and enjoy that opportunity to go compete with each other one more time. Appreciate that, Coach. No, did you have another question? I see your hand up, but I can't remember if you put it down earlier. Yeah, Coach, you talked about I guess the, the 10 wins, you know, how big would that be for this program to be able to do that, you know, in a year like this? Well, it's never happened at NC state. We've had an 11 win team and a bunch of nine and eight sevens and so on, but never a 10. So in over 135 years of football, it'd be a first time. And so anytime you can break ground into something over a period that long, it's meaningful to say the least. So this game means a lot to our football program. The guys are going to play really hard. All right, we'll go back to another question from Jaden. Jaden, you can go whenever you're ready. 
Okay, we have heard that there will be an edible mascot. Um, you know, as, if y'all win, do we get to see you taking a giant bite out of a, a massive Pop-Tart? Man, I, I guess I would have to, wouldn't I? I'm not going to be the guy that doesn't do that. So, you know, as long as it's, uh, I don't know, what flavor is it going to be? Do we know? <laughs> I don't think I'm at liberty to divulge that information yet. Okay. Well, then maybe I'm not at liberty to answer the question. How's that? That's fair. <laughs> do we have any more questions for Coach from the room? If you do, raise can your I hand. Can I, chase it, can I chase down the Pop-Tart with a nice, nice uh, bourbon or something like that afterwards? Is that part of the Pop-Tart experience or not? Which I think we could arrange that if you want it. We, we'll make it a whole tasting. Okay, then I think I'm in. That sounds good. I don't see any more questions.